As we come to a close, I'd like to read some words that were beautifully written by his daughter, Megan. My father is gone, and I miss him as only an adoring daughter can. But in this loss and in this sorrow, I take comfort in this. John McCain, hero of the Republic, and to his little girl, wakes today to something more glorious than anything on this earth. Today, the warrior enters his true and eternal life, greeted by those who have gone before him. And she writes, rising to meet the author of all things. We will grieve, well, we, we will mourn, but I want you to think about her words. In this very moment, Senator John McCain is in heaven with God the Father and Jesus the Son. No more cancer, no more pain, no more sickness, no more burdens of this world. In fact, his biggest concern is, is probably what channel do I have to find in heaven in order to watch Larry play on Sundays? <laughs> All joking aside, he's a free man and he's more alive than he's ever been. See, Senator McCain professed Christianity. And here's the hope in what Senator McCain believed. He knew Romans 3.23, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. He knew Romans 6.23, that the wages of sin was death, but the gift of God was eternal life through his son, Jesus Christ. So the hope that we have is the good news that Senator John McCain believed this passage from John 3.16. That for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that who believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. When we grieve and when we mourn, understand that he has eternal life and he is with the Father in heaven because of his faith in Jesus Christ. That is something to find comfort in. That is the reason why Megan can write these words so beautifully. Let us pray together. Father, as we leave from this place, we ask you to give comfort to Cindy and the family. As Vice President Joe Biden said, there will be days that the freshness of this lostness hits them hard, Father. And in those moments, Lord, when they find themselves by themselves mourning this deep pain and sorrow, will you comfort them, God? Will you give them the strength they need to walk every single day? And God, as we mourn, as your scripture says, we mourn differently with those that have hope because Senator John McCain believed that you sent your only son to walk this earth and live a sinless life, to die on the cross for our sins, for the things that we deserved. And he believed that Jesus Christ was put in the tomb and he rose again and he defeated death. That is a reason to celebrate and that is a reason for us to have comfort. It's in Jesus' name we pray, amen. I want to thank you all again on the behalf of the McCain family for being here and supporting them.